I'm excited. I don't know what to expect from this. I know. Guys, we just pulled up at a place called Kenilworth Bakery. And apparently they do a one kg donut and we're going to attempt it. No, but genuinely, like, are you kidding me? I think it's like <laughs> Australia's biggest donut. Apparently it is. And we're going to try and eat the whole thing. There's no way we're doing it. We're working out, we're running, and we're about to take on a one kg donut. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something we should be doing right now, but we're going to do it. This town is so Aussie. It's so cute, hey? It's so sweet. It's like just the most random remote road in the world. Guys, we're still getting used to the fact that like we just pull up at random locations. In yeah, Australia. we've never been here before. And it's so weird. Because sometimes when you drive in Australia, you just drive and there's nothing. And then you just get to like a little town. Yeah. And it's so cool. It feels like we're just on a constant holiday. Because we're just every day just going to new places and new things. It just feels like we're not, yeah. we don't actually live here. It's so weird. And the thing I'm most excited for is they do, what is it, like this donut? A donut with a hole in the middle. But inside the hole there's a coffee. is coffee. <laughs> Guys, you know I'm obsessed with coffee. Oh my God, it's a donut. And they fill it with Nutella on the inside. And then they pour a coffee into a Donut. I don't know how it's going to work I thought like it's going to be really messy, but apparently it looks really sounds good. Sounds fun. We're going to go try it. Can you take on the one kg donut? Can you? Uh, I probably not. <laughs> I don't think I can. We're going to give it a go. Look at that sausage roll. That is so big. Huge. So apparently someone completed the one kg sausage roll in 50 seconds. 58 seconds. That's How is not that normal? Possible? That is not normal. I don't know why the whole entire world does not make tomato sauces like this. So much easier. You just squeeze it like this and it comes out. Go why does it. no one else do this? That is so handy. Guys, me and Rosie were just looking at this thinking, these pictures look so cool. They're not pictures. Someone's actually painted this. This person right here painted the whole of this and all of this down here. That's crazy. I'm not being funny though. The way I drew you the other day, mm. I think I could do a good job at that. If you guys remember when I drew Rosie the other day, I just feel like if that picture of you was like there, there's a nice spot up there just for you. Yeah, it'd look great. I think it'd look fantastic. Because this is um, is not good. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> it is just so bad. What did you get? <laughs> it's a donut with an actual coffee in it. I thought it was a joke. I didn't How actually does that think. actually work? Are you, you ready serious? To see it? What's in there? Right, you ready? Are we gonna finish that? That is no the question. Way. The girl in there just told me the quickest time someone's eating this yeah. is one minute and 50 seconds. That's a joke. Or one minute and 15 seconds. That's actually a joke. This whole thing. How? And swallowed it. How? How, wow. How is that even possible? I can actually see the coffee just slowly. Yeah. Oh my god, no, it's coming out the bottom. Okay, just oh. quickly drink it. Wait. How do you Oh, it's coming out? I'm not joking, it's coming out. I... Look. Oh no. I feel like I mean... this sounds cooler than what it is. Yeah, it definitely does. I just saw you donut. This is impossible. Oh my god. It's literally falling out the whole bottom of the donut. I'm sucking it out. Mm. Oh my god. That just caved in everywhere. That was made for like an Instagram picture. Yeah. And that is it. Let me see your mouth. <laughs> For like a little kid, hold on. That was the messiest thing I've ever eaten. No, but genuinely, like, are you kidding me? This is gonna feed like the whole street. Guys, if you wanna go see us try and tackle this, go to our TikTok and see if we did it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're carrying a weapon. <laughs> it feels like a weapon. Why do I literally feel like I've eaten that whole donut? <laughs> Same. So we're about to go to find our first waterfall since yes. moving here. We're about to go and off road. This is where we're going and we have no idea where to go apart from follow this road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently we're a bit scared because apparently this four by four track actually has a creek crossing or two creek crossings mm -hmm. and we've never done that in our car and we're a bit scared because we need to make sure that it's going to be deep enough not no it needs to not no, be deep not no, 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 deep. No. That's it needs to not be deep i don't think it is i searched to see if there was any warnings to see if it was too deep and it says it's fine so guys it's scary like when you've got a brand new car and you're going off road i mean we got this car to go off road and now we're going off road i'm like i don't know if i want to do it <laughs> we're officially crossing our first creek so shallow thank god for that i was so scared i was nervous <laughs> it was going to be like really i mean I don't want to speak too soon. Yeah, it's it going to be, be too dr deep. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, one thing me and Rosie always do is when we record, sometimes we just get so carried away of like the camera that we just start making up words. It's going to be so dream. <laughs> driven for half an hour to realize the road's closed. 
What the hell? What the hell? It's still another nine kilometers until the falls as well, up this road. I literally Googled it as well to see if it was shut and it said it wasn't. Oh, that sucks. That is so annoying. No. The one time we want to come out <gasps> and do an off-road track, we can't. And the weather is so good today. Oh, that's so annoying. We were going to go for a swim in the waterfall as well. We're going to do it all. Oh. We're going to go for a swim. There was like a waterfall there. Oh my God, there was going to be so much good stuff for you guys to watch. That sucks. We can go to the creek instead. Oh, where's that? Back that way. Oh, let's do that. There's then. a creek we can swim at, but not a waterfall. I guess we'll save that for a different day. Does it look like we can swim? It looks really shallow. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's deep enough to swim. Guys, I don't know what it is, but every time I see like an old couple and they're just like relaxing on a bench or they're doing anything, like it gives me such like a realization that like that happens one day and yeah, we all get old and like that's one day gonna be us. And it like makes you think to just live in the moment and just enjoy life. They just look so cute over there. They're just having a picnic. That's just a depressing thought. I no, it's think not. Although that. <laughs> well, it's a very depressing thought. No one wants to get old. It gives you a reason to live in the moment and enjoy life while you're young. Whoa, that is looking very muddy. I feel like we actually own a Jeep now, now that it's really muddy. So we actually ended up just speaking to that old couple and they were so sweet. They ended up telling us where we were just there. They basically said, it's rubbish to swim here. Don't swim there. Apparently, they said, come over here. You'll see a big rock. Walk 100 meters over that rock and we're going to find somewhere that we can swim. But everything he said, he was like, you know, that was around 20 years ago. So I don't know if he's still living in 20 years ago. We're going to find out. I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, maybe this is what you meant by the rocks. Maybe that's what you meant. I can't believe you actually went in. Oh, it's so good. It's cold though. I didn't expect it to be this cold. I thought it was going to be really warm. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah, I am shivering You have got bit. so many goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry? Are you hungry? I am. Oh, if only we had some food. Uh. Donut time. <laughs> How'd it go? I think I've got some answers. You do? I find, like, genuinely, I think I finally found out some answers about my skin. So, around about a month ago, I sent off my poo. <laughs> 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 in the <Yeah>. post <laughs> for a gut test to basically figure out what the final last things were that were causing my psoriasis and for those no, she literally had to poo in a pot and send it to the post yeah. office it was is a bit weird but anyway i've got good results from it and for those of you that don't know about my whole skin my psoriasis journey we did a whole documentary on my journey with psoriasis and the fact that it covered 80 to 90 percent of my body at one point and how i managed to clear the majority of my psoriasis which was coming off the birth control pill well actually no like you did get rid of all of it I did get and then like two it. months later it came back in small tiny patches and we were like oh is it coming back yeah. and it never went back to how bad it was but it's but still it, not gone completely. it's still not gone completely and it came back and now you've always had it about 20 percent to what you yeah. used to have it which is insane considering how bad it was yeah like even though it's not anywhere near as bad as what it was before and it's still there on my body there was still something causing but, yeah, it. yeah there's still something causing it so i decided to take a gut test and it's taken the last month to get the results in and i've just had my call with my naturopath she's just told me the results and i'm intrigued it's good news but before i show you and tell you the results of what the test says <laughs> i want to talk about three years ago i did this exact same gut test when my psoriasis was really really bad and the difference in the results is just crazy three years ago those results showed that my gut literally had bad bacteria everywhere mm -hmm, i it remember was, it was like really really bad there was like scales that were like bad bacteria and every single one was ticked yeah every single one was really really high and just really bad so is it still like so, that now no so comparing okay, my results to then all of my bad bacteria levels is pretty much non-existent all these little dots are in the green zone which means they're basically zero okay. apart from one i have one bad bacteria still in my gut called a strep bacteria okay and that bacteria is directly linked to my exact type of psoriasis that i have wow okay that's good and that's the only bacteria i've still got left in my gut which therefore literally has given me my answer the reason why i've still got my psoriasis is because of that is bad because bacteria of this one strep bacteria Wait, so that the bacteria that the bad bacteria you've still got right now you've only got one one type of bad bacteria yeah and how many did you have like three years ago oh, like 
10 or more. And that particular one causes psoriasis? Yes. How? I don't know, it's just called strep. It's a strep bacteria. That's the most common bad bacteria that causes psoriasis. It is, and not only is it the one that causes psoriasis, it's also the one that causes my exact type of psoriasis as well. Oh, that's good. So that you can get so many different ones, but apparently my type that's like really on your stomach yeah, yeah. is caused by strep bacteria. So oh, this has really given good. me up my answers. Yeah, you're probably this wondering why probably wondering why I'm saying that's good. The only reason it's good is because if that right there said that all your bad bacteria was nothing, then I'd be confused for you because yes. I'd be like, well now what? Like but that's clearly given us a, a reason as to why you still have it. Exactly. You know, so that's now good. my naturopath has basically said to me to get rid of that bacteria I need to do a six to eight week gut cleanse. Okay. Which is fully natural and it's gonna cleanse the whole bacteria out of me and hopefully Fully make my psoriasis like completely calm down. So you're going to be on the toilet 24/7, basically. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. I mean, we're going to do an update at some point when Rosie's done her gut cleanse and stuff like that. We might do it on TikTok or Instagram. I'm not too sure, or maybe YouTube. So make sure you're following us on there. But I'm excited. That's Me good. Too. Technically, this should clear your skin, mm. guys. If there's one thing that, from an outsider's point of view, that someone who hasn't had skin issues or psoriasis or eczema or anything like that, I've seen Rosie go through so much, and I can't stress how important it is to do stuff naturally and instead of just like you know going to the doctors and taking medication that you that is awful for you yeah i never gave up it's been a a four year journey of trying to figure out what's wrong with my skin and never once did i give up or give in to the harsh medications no. that doctors but you were tempted sometimes you were tempted i was because it's just the easy option i know but is. this is your sign for anyone else going through a skin condition or any physical condition with time and dedication and just and a lot of research and research and a lot of yourself. research yeah like we have the internet it's so, like guys the internet is so powerful you can literally go on there and search anything and find stuff i mean you gotta be careful because sometimes you'll type in i have psoriasis and it will say oh you've got three hours to live because yeah. that's what google loves to do but <laughs> don't look at that just do your research like this has been a crazy journey i know for a fact it's going to go after this i really hope so it's it's hard for me to 100 percent say because it's obviously been such a an up and down journey with so many things that i've tried but it makes sense it, like all of that what you just showed me makes so much sense you know figuring out what's wrong with your skin the natural way is draining but after all of this time mm -hmm. I can finally say I think it's worth it. I'm proud of you. Let's hope so.